Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Preseason has gone absolutely crazy. What a wild day it was yesterday in FIFA 22 with the most unforeseen start to a promo like we have ever witnessed in this game, where we were sitting there ready for 6pm content, and then EA tweeted out saying that they were going to literally pause and delay the promo five minutes before it was supposed to release that was crazy in its own right but we finally have all the contents in packs we've got all the objectives the sbcs they have been dropped and i want to take a look with you guys about how this preseason promo is coming across there's less special cards in packs kind of as we expected but still it's a bit of an l and i really just have to talk about these fifa 23 rewards that we can get are they worth the grind i think some of them are and i think other ones are not but it's very similar to the preseason promos of years past except we have a couple transfer cards already actually three of them with the showdown and the lukaku and there's a leak of another one that could be coming today on saturday so we're going to talk about all of that and more in today's video if you're excited for preseason and you're already wanting to grind these rewards hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now Here's what I want to start talking about first. Just a quick rundown of this preseason promo and kind of talk about first how it went down yesterday because it was just crazy. It was crazy yesterday. We were on the live stream ready for preseason to drop. All of a sudden, EA tweets this five minutes before content. Due to unforeseen issues, we have had to delay the launch of the preseason campaign. This thread will be available or updated when more information is out. They said about three hours later that it was live. So I don't know what the issue was yesterday that made them not able to release the promo on time. But it was absolute chaos at 6 p.m. in the content drop yesterday on the market with SBC fodder with literally everything. Because the, the promo, we literally ended footies and there was nothing except for a showdown SBC. So... That was just the craziest thing to start off with, but it is all out. All of our content is finally here, and I want to go over it with you guys because we didn't have a chance to really do it on stream. Now, I like this screen here. It kind of shows us all of the rewards for week number one of preseason. I do expect this to be three, four, five week promo. You can see that batch one is in packs for two weeks in total. There's only a hundred special cards in packs right now. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, but let's talk about SBCs and objectives because that's what this whole promo is about, right? Getting FIFA 23 rewards inside of FIFA 22. Now there's two different rewards that you can get right now. There is one uh, inside of this warm up to foot 23 objective, which you basically do the very easy Warm up foot 23 SBC. I'll take a look at that in a second. You get 85 times five packs every time you go and do it. And then you get an 85 times 10 at the end. And when you get one of these done, each warm up pack gets you two rare gold players packs and a gold rare contract pack. And you know, for a second, when I first read this description, when I read it, I was like, wait, a rare gold players pack. That's actually a really good pack. But not so fast it is actually a two players pack according to the website right here it is a two players pack it's like you know not two times rare gold players packs it is a two rare gold player pack so you get two gold players that's basically it from the pack that you get um when you finish this reward so you have to do it all three times to get this reward here which is not very good but honestly i mean you get an 85 times five every single time you do it so it's also actually kind of worth it because the sbc only requires bronze cards and 30 chemistry so it's kind of a mix between you kind of just might as well do it because you turn in your bronze non-rears you get an 85 times five you do it three times you get an 85 times 10 and then you get a couple packs or you get one pack and some contracts in fifa 23 upcoming so that's the first objective and again like I said, to complete this objective, what you have to do is go into the SBC tab and you find the warm up challenge, which I did it yesterday. It literally takes five seconds because it's so easy to do. It's this foot 23 warm up SBC, which you can't really see it's hiding um, behind my face cam, but we'll be able to do this again on Sunday, I believe. And one day, 22 hours is a really random time frame for this to re up from where I'm, when I'm recording this right now. But whenever this refreshes, we'll be able to do it again and that would give us another 85 times five pack from objectives and it'll get you one step closer to your 23 reward so this one is the one that i think is not that great now the other one foot 23 kickstart this requires a little bit more effort but it's not that much effort these packs in my opinion will be the best 
of use in FIFA 23 when these rewards will drop. As you can see, you score in three separate matches in the Live Foot Friendly Kickstart, which is a max chemistry mode with very minimal requirements. If you have seven Prem players in your team, you score in three matches, you get a Premier League three rare gold players pack. Now, this is a pack that could have some pretty good potential because if you think about it, in the early game, three rare gold players from the same league you know, you might have a chance of hitting a team of the week card. You might have a chance of hitting somebody halfway decent. I'm, I'm not saying that these packs are going to automatically give out really good, but I think that these packs are better and the grind here is a little bit better than what you have to do for the foot 23 starter objective. So I like these a little bit better. And, you know, this way, let's say you do all of these objectives. And at the start of the game, this, this next year of FIFA 23, let's say you get an insane pull out of your La Liga players pack like let's say i don't know you pack somebody i don't know like maybe a furlan mendy or a militao which at the start of the game is a really really big pull then you can start to build your team around them um and you know have that kind of like head start or an upgrade to your current team depending on how your rewards could be so in reality these packs aren't that fantastic they're okay and you know it's like all right if i'm playing fiva 22 right now i might as well go out and try to get some of this done to set myself a little bit ahead in fiva 23 but if you're also like man i don't want to grind this it's not worth it i completely understand that argument as well it's kind of like just you have to kind of pick one side and um you know kind of go with it and it is what it is so that's how i feel about this preseason promo because the other thing i have to say about this is all preseason rewards are untradeable, and the timing of this. Foot 23 rewards must be redeemed by logging in by November, wow, November 14th. Okay, no, 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 granted date. Foot 23 rewards will be granted by the 13th of October. The full game releases on September 30th of this year of 2022. I believe it was last year we got them one week, or it might have been on the, on the final date. These rewards will be granted by the 13th of October. They should be granted before then. But I'm, all I'm saying is do not expect to get these packs or to get like any of these rewards before you log into the actual ultimate team. Like when you open up the web app for the first time in FIFA 23, these packs will most likely not be there sitting and waiting for you. These packs are ones that we often get a week after the full game is released and out. So that also kind of detracts from the value that these rewards have because they're not available to you right away. I mean, imagine if you started the game and opened the web app or opened FIFA Ultimate Team on console even for the first time with these rewards, they'd be a huge help. But it's after you've played the game for a week, maybe a week and a half, where you actually get these packs. They're still valuable, but that makes them a little bit less valuable if you guys remember from past years. Also, this is maybe a, a small niche example, but if you're switching from PS to PlayStation, or sorry, from PS to PC or Xbox to PlayStation, your rewards will not carry over. So try to get these rewards. If you're starting a brand new account on a new console or a new platform, try to start that account now, which is good practice anyway. If you want to get web app and um, companion app access, specifically is start that new account and even grind these rewards on that account if you can because that'll help you you know get those rewards there for the start of fever 23 so just some small tidbits there about the preseason rewards again like i said it's kind of just up and down it's whatever you want right and on the video today I, I did finish the warm-up sbc challenge because it's so cheap it's so easy to do might as well i'm gonna probably try to get the kickstarter one done do all of the top five leagues the efigs leagues and get those three player packs again just because why not and i'm probably going to do these as well just because they're so easy bronze players boom i look i'm going to get some tots cards and that's what i want to talk about next the the content that we had in game for fifa 22 starting with the players in packs right I, we knew that it was going to be a, oh my gosh that was a really good uh wow that was a really good 85 times five i doubt that all of them are looking like that because we do only we only have 100 special cards in packs right now in this game. We do not have the 200 that we have had for the past two weeks, right? The preseason 100 squad run one is what is in packs right now. Now, it does contain some pretty big name cards, but it also feels like it's just missing so many. We were opening 85 times 10s yesterday. We were packing guys like Gold Van Dyke. Uh, I don't actually know. I don't think he's in here. I packed him before they, they fixed everything up. Let me search really quick. Is Virgil Van Dyke in here? Virgil van Dijk is not, so he doesn't have a special card in packs, but like Marquinhos gold card, Conte's gold card, you know, I believe there's not even a Messi 
There's not even a messy card that is in packs right now. His gold card is in packs. And that just detracts from the hype of what is in packs at the moment. Only 100 cards, all tots, Conway Bolt team of the group stage, shapeshifters, and literally one fantasy foot upgrade with Usman Dembele. So that's the biggest L a part of the preseason promo. And we knew that it was going to be a step down. That's why I was telling you guys all of last week, open those packs during footies because it will not get any better than it was last week. And that was kind of confirmed with the cards that are in packs. Now, speaking of the market a little bit, a lot of the cards that have not been re-released back into packs, for example, let's take a look at some of these shapeshifters that we thought maybe were going to be back in, but we're not. Shapeshifter Messi or Marcelo, both these guys are great examples. Messi yesterday was 1.3 million coins. He is now upwards of 1.55, 1.51. And the next card is like almost 1.57. So 1.55 for Messi. He is up a lot. Marcelo was under 400,000 coins yesterday. Heading into the content drop, he is now 490, 480,000 coins. A big rise on a lot of your shapeshifter cards that are not re-released back into packs. Kyle Walker was under 300k. He is now just over 420,000 coins. So a lot of those cards have gone up simply because they're not in packs. People went out, bought some cards for their end game teams. And that's how a lot of the market reacted yesterday to the content drop because of all of the unforeseen circumstances that were going on a lot of cards spiked instantly yesterday ronaldo is a good one to look at because he's actually in packs still a part of this batch but ronaldo was low spiked all the way up in that first hour and then kind of had a slow drop back down to where he is now like 2.2 to 2.3 mil but that was the common theme is everybody yesterday with the content being lackluster right at the content drop went out and bought everything back. Look at this messy 1.2, 1.28, all the way to 1.5. And now it's even gone higher up as he has, you know, continue to get bought up and people are going and saying, whatever, I'm just going to go buy some of my end game team. So these cards that are in packs right now, this batch, again, it does say that it's going to be for two weeks. There's probably going to be another batch of you know even more special cards being in packs hopefully they add to this hopefully it gets a little bit better because yes stuff is still craftable right now with you know like erickson darwin nunez a lot of people are still trying to finish you know guys like salah or dembele or neymar those spcs are people are trying to craft and get them done it's just going to be a little bit harder now with less cards in packs now speaking about the spc fodder just a little bit more Fodder actually exploded yesterday on the higher tier after content as well. I mean, take a look at some of I'm going to look at the 96 rated cards. Remember like on, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday when I was looking at this Joe Cole and I was saying, man, 16, 17K for this is way, way, way too cheap. Thursday, he was 23,000 coins, went down under 20K. But yesterday was the big explosion day for a lot of these cards because they went out of packs and people had fodder and still were going and doing other SBCs. They were going and doing the brand new Ericsson or the brand new Nunez SBCs, which are great value. Going and finishing guys like Salah, the, the player picks that we have out, Icon SBCs, right? Neymar, Usman, stuff like that. People still were going and doing SBCs yesterday. They were going out and spending coins to get it done. So you saw fodder go up and the prices of these SBCs exploded. I mean, take a look at the Salah price from 1.5 mil before content yesterday. He went all the way up to basically 2.1 with the high rated fodder that was all getting supplied every single day in packs like the shapeshifters and the tots cards. A lot of those left packs and that fodder went flying up because there was no more supply and a lot of demand. So that was a really crazy thing that we saw yesterday. So the higher tier fodder is up a decent amount. Lower tier fodder hasn't moved. It's more of like your 93, 94, 95 rated players that these guys were like 15K and now they're 20K, right? 96 is again, a great example. We're like 18, 19,000 coins. They are now almost 30K for most of these cards, except for a couple of them that are still in packs like Suarez, 96 rated card, 23,000 coins. So that is why some of your SPC prices look more expensive right now is because that higher tier fodder has gone up as well without the supply that it had before. Now, the lower tier fodder, I think, still has opportunities to move. We're still getting the 85 plus times 10 repeatable twice a day. People are still going out and doing that because there are TOTS cards in packs and you saw the 85 times 5 that I just packed. People are still out crafting. People are still out doing SBCs. I have to try to get the Salah going, right? I'm one out of 18 squads on him. 
the hardest part right now about crafting these squads, and this is this is EA's fault big time. They did not add any fantasy foot birthday or foot captain's cards. There's only one foot fantasy, and it's um it's Usman Dembele. He's in packs. That's it. But they did not add any of these cards into packs. So right now, people that are trying to do Mendy, Griezmann, Salah, Neymar that require these types of promo cards, they're in the mud because these cards are just going up on the market without any supply. The only thing you can say is, well, EA Sports did give us a player pick that we can do that gives us batch one, two, or three players. So you might have a chance at packing a captain's or a full birthday or a foot fantasy upgrade, but that's a really poor excuse. And EA Sports should be providing us other options than just having to go onto the market and buy these cards. I believe like foot fantasy upgrade cards are the cheapest ones like out of all of those. And I think they're like 40K. I'm pretty sure they're like 40 or 50,000 coins for some of these foot birthdays, some of these foot fantasy cards, 45K for Alexandro. And some of them are actually extinct because their price ranges don't even go that high. Yeah, 50K basically. For these cards, how much are foot captains? I want to look. Foot captains are foot captains are a little bit cheaper, around thirty thousand coins. Foot birthdays are extinct. No way. How much are foot birthdays? Fifty, sixty k? Nah. What? Foot birthdays are ninety five thousand coins. With Danny Alves being like one of the only ones on the market. That's actually crazy, EA. That's wild. So that's the problem that we have right now, and I think EA Sports needs to do something about it besides just saying that they have this this player pick available for us to craft. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to do anything about it. This is available for 22 days, but you shouldn't have to, right? You shouldn't have to do this or be forced to spend coins. They should have all these different types of cards in packs. So that's one thing right now that I'm really not happy with EA about because it doesn't make any sense. They're requiring those cards and not supplying them. So that's one thing I'm not super happy about there in terms of the SBCs in this game. Now, yesterday we had a great showdown. Darwin Nunez and Christian Eriksen, both of these cards, in my opinion, are great. 5-4 for Nunez. I wish he would have been 5-5. High-low work rate change. Incredible, incredible stats. Again, really cracked out looking item, of course, with the transfer card as well, the Liverpool Darwin Nunez. They added finesse shot, power header, and outside foot shot traits. 199,000 coins to get this card done is a steal of a price, a steal of a price in my 150K to get this done. Ericsson's 190K. Both of these I think are fantastic value for the stage of the game, very craftable. And of course, you know how it goes on Monday, the winner will get a plus two upgrade post game. And if there is a draw, both will get plus one. So I went ahead and did the Ericsson card, 199,000 coins. I thought his value was a little bit too expensive right away, but after looking at it for a bit longer, he looks like incredible value. Plus 25 defense on this card. This card is incredible, by the way. Great long shots, great passing. He doesn't feel like the most meta card in game still, but a really, really fun card with this plus three. Again, the physical and defensive boost, just massive. So, you know, I'm low key hoping that maybe Erickson gets a plus one or a plus two, but also I know that a lot of people would love Darwin Nunez getting a plus one or plus two as well. So winner goes to 98 overall. If there is a clear cut winner at 90 minutes time on Monday's game between Manchester United and Liverpool. So it's a huge, huge game for showdown opportunities in this game. Now, also yesterday, it was actually funny because this Lukaku card was in concepts, but with the whole delay of everything, he wasn't dropped in the game. And this Lukaku was dropped in objectives. He has a pretty pretty high downvote percentage. I think it's because they didn't give him five-star skills. That would have been nice if we had a Lukaku with five-star skills. But this is, you know, if you're an Inter fan, if you're a Syriot fan, you want this card, go ahead and go grind it. It's not super terrible to get. It's just kind of there. Um, but, you know, we've already had three brand new transfer cards added, right? With Nunez, Ericsson, and Lukaku. All three of those are transfer cards that have been added to the game already via this promo. And, you know, that's got me kind of excited because that means that EA seems to, like, want to keep the ball rolling with these transfer cards. And I would love that. Drop as many transfer cards as possible, EA. Like, just keep dropping it. Now, I do think there is potential for us to get a new transfer card today on Saturday. You know how EA has liked to keep the player SBCs fresh and rolling at the beginning of these promos, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. We've seen a lot of player SBCs. There is a leak for another one. No date on this leak, but I really feel like this could be today. 99 rated Lewandowski Barcelona is added to come via a preseason SBC. Not entirely sure what card design they would use. Since they did the moments card design for 
Lukaku. I think they might do that for Lewandowski as well. But this is the card design that they have used in previous years for the transfer SBC cards. So that's this. That's just the start, guys. Like ton of potential with this. I mean, a 99 Lewandowski would be awesome if it was five star, five star. I wasn't a huge fan of his team in the season card, but maybe with the five star, five star boost and even better stats, this could be a really, really cracked out card. So that's the only leak that we have right now. But I, in my opinion, think that that is going to be coming today on Saturday as a part of our content. But really what there is to do right now in this game is slowly start working on these Kickstarter objectives because I really feel like these are the best ones to do. Um, the warm-up objectives, I'm not expecting anything else other than this rel related to FIFA 23 content. Uh, because again, if you look at the webpage, it just talks about the FIFA 23 eFigs packs and it talks about the two rare gold players packs and the contract stuff. And it really doesn't say anything else. This is week one, by the way, because this is how they kind of do this. They do like every single week, there'll be different rewards. You can see that some of these say, uh, and on the website, it says like week one of preseason, you get these rewards. So there will be more rewards down the line. You'll be able to get more packs. Yeah, right here, it says week one, right? Some of these rewards will hopefully change up a little bit and they'll maybe be more worth it to grind, you know, a couple weeks from now as we get even closer to FIFA 23. But you know, put in the grind that you want to put in. If you're still trying to craft footies cards, put in that time, put in that grind. Hopefully today on Saturday as well, we get the 86 or in the 82 plus player picks and the upgrade packs back, specifically the 75 times five, like that whole grind with BPM, EA Sports, release that again, let people grind the menus because that's a great way to get SPCs done for a lower price. And the 82 plus player pick would be fantastic to have out in the game right now as well just to be able to try to pack some fodder cards with these special items that are in packs that way you can go and craft just a little bit easier but again it was a crazy day of content yesterday i'm glad it settled down just again an absolutely wild day on the game we still did not see that 83 plus times five pack in the game yet either only we have the 85 plus times five um i, I did not see an 83 plus times five of course these were 85 fives here. So still kind of looking out for where that pack may be dropped, um, whether it's in the store, whether it is in an SBC or something like that. Not entirely sure. That's something we didn't see yesterday that we maybe are looking forward to today or on this weekend. But still, preseason promo is rolling. I even started playing weekend league because of how the content was yesterday. I think I'm like three and two or something like that. Just trying to get my 11 and, and dip. Try some of my brand new cards that are in the team. Again, as I said, I did try out the Christian Erickson card. He is cracked. And I did finish the Allen St. Maximin SBC. This dude is absolutely incredible. Doesn't have a ton of goals, but he is fantastic for me. And I'm still on the quest for a thousand games with R9. That's part of the reason why I'm playing a little bit this weekend. Try to get this R9 to a thousand games uh, before the end of FIFA 22 as we know it. But clubs and teams are looking stacked. The cards keep coming out. I'm going to try to feature some transfer cards in my team as well. But if a 98 Ericsson... 98 Ericsson would be absolutely incredible. So I'm, I'm rooting for Ericsson on Monday, guys. Not Man United. I'm rooting for Ericsson. And I got to wake up early on Saturday to watch my Tottenham Hotspur lads play against Wolves. So I'm going to go get some shut-eye to get ready for that. But if you're excited for another day of, of preseason, I mean, actually, maybe you're not excited. Let me know down in the comments how you're feeling because it does feel like with the preseason cards and packs, it's a step backwards. And we kind of knew that was going to happen. That's what we talked about all week. So however you're feeling, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about that. But if you did enjoy today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.